if you wear this hat and you go out, you love being a dad. Whether it's hard or not, right. you enjoy it. My one main goal as a father is to make sure to always prioritize that time because they are growing so fast. Sorry, dude, I gotta go escape from the pirates. I was just on the giant playground. It was just discipline. Like yeah, knowing that that's tough you one. have to go to work <laughs> every single day. I know you don't wanna go, but you have to. We are back with Mookie Betts, Juan, Cam, Dad Gang for our second collaboration hat. Uh, as you guys can see, we have a couple new features on it. We got the one on the side with the one main goal, which we can't wait to dive into here soon. The blue brim, Mookie's signature. And then we have the blue there with the white outline. So we are pumped about this one and uh, yeah, thank you for joining us for a second round. So we appreciate it. Sir, yes, sir. Cool, cool. So just to kind of kick things off, um, just to dive in a little bit into fatherhood, uh, there was one topic I kind of wanted to bring up and it was about character because I noticed between Juan and Kim and you, you guys all just have this very positive collective character about yourself and how you hold yourselves, how you represent yourselves. And I think that could speak volumes to it kind of how other fathers are managing any struggles or adversity that they're coming along with. So in sports, for example, if uh, you know you have a young seven or eight year old in the dugout and they see their team start chanting something at the other team that isn't necessarily positive, you know, how, how what advice would you give that dad to talk with their kid on the way home about how important character is and how it's shaped your success as, a, as one? Um, for me, um, there's a difference between being competitive and then being um, disrespectful. And I think when you're in the dugout, the chance, you know, I haven't been seven until what's seven and eight year old. It's been so long, so it's hard. I'm trying to remember all the chance. Um, I think a lot of that should just be steered towards your own team. You know, I think uh, it should just be building up your own team positive for uh, yourself. I think uh, just positively, positivity in general. Um, this sounds really cliche, but a lot of people aren't positive. Positive self-talk, positive talk between each other. Um, there's a lot of slander that goes on about other people. And to me, I would tell my son, like, my man, you talking bad about someone else doesn't do anything for you. That actually makes you look worse. That that makes you look like you have insecurities. That makes you look like you need to go work on yourself. Because anyone that's positive and or not positive, but anyone that's secure in themselves is not gonna talk bad about somebody else. Because it doesn't matter what somebody else does. Just because someone else goes and make an error. I'm not saying if they're the other team, go pick them up. But okay, whatever. You know, and so <clears throat> I, I just am a firm believer in if it's not positive, it's not really worth saying because you're just putting negative energy out in the air and that comes around, that comes back around. And so I really just, I would just tell them be positive and if you're doing the chance and these negative chants, you don't have to participate in that. That's, that's, that's not for you. I think that I would take the time out to teach them what, teach him or her what it fears because the thing is, you could be in that position. Mm -hmm. And how would you feel if you were in that position and everybody, the joke was on you? You know, everybody's laughing at you. And so I would, I would focus on teaching them empathy and understanding, <clears throat> understanding that just because this is what everybody at the masses is doing doesn't mean that's what your character has to display. Your character can be stand up. You could be the one that steps up and say, you know, hey, I'm not laughing, I'm not entertaining that, you know what I mean? Because that's not right. If I if I was in that position, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel good. So let me not join in on something that's negative like that. Let me focus on what's positive, what my parents teach me. And I, I wanna say this too, on the reverse side, like when that is done to you, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's good to lean on the upbringing of who is surrounded. Kids are influenced by everything. 
things we don't even want them influenced by. Right. Right. And so kids have to understand this process, right? Like to build character. There's going to be times when it hurts, when you want to say this and do that. And we can't, right? The people I'm, a, I'm surrounding you with, mom, dad, brother, sister, are the character pieces I want around you. Outside influence, we understand what that is, and that does not affect what goes on at home. And, you know, that's what character is. Just leaning into who really needs to pour into you and understand the rest are distractions. Absolutely. I think, like, with adversity, you know, as you get older, you're all, we're always facing challenges, not just as fathers, but as men, and, you know, all of our failures and successes, you know, and it may be a, a terrible week, and then one thing spins you out, and that shouldn't even spun you out, you know? Yeah. And, and then you have your kid there, and then, you know, you may act out of character in that moment, and then that conversation is like, I have to apologize to my son because that's that's not how I should have acted in that moment, you know? And so I think, you know, just speaking to dads and fathers, you know, it, it, it's okay. We're not going to be perfect, you know, by any means, but being able to accept that, hey, we messed up too, but we got to correct it, you know, because I see there's so many things out the ball field of really, really good people that happen to act out of character in front of a team, you know, and you, and it leaves such a strong impact on those kids. And so do we like just take that and try and hide and forget that that happened? Or do we own up to it and say, you know what? I did mess up there. You know, I apologize for that. Shouldn't have acted that way, you know? So I think that's powerful, you guys. And you guys are all amazing, amazing fathers and men, and your character speaks volumes there, so. You too, you guys too. Oh, we're, we're trying, man. One day at a time, <laughs> one day at a time. But yeah, with that, Bart. Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to emphasize, you know, the, the collaboration overall is with with uh, one and and having a one main goal behind so many things like whether it's sports or or being a father or like what outcome you want for your kids and then tying that all back into entrepreneurship because i love that this collaboration is between your guys's media and content company and us and then um what kind of comes up to me is also like the pressures of as kind of a, a shift but like entrepreneurship and what's available to our kids these days so you know, for us, for Gray and I, EJ, and a lot of you too, I'm sure it's like college and in work. And that was kind of the path always. But now you have kids that find a passion early, start a YouTube channel, yeah. build a product, spin something up on Shopify like we did with Dad Gang. And it's almost like you had the stage moms and the and the sports dads of like sports. And now it's it's uh, there's a lot of pressures of like, Oh, my kid's gonna be an entrepreneur or or they're going to you know go a traditional route so i'd like to like as business owners and businessmen like how do you guys view that you know raising kids in today's world around like entrepreneurship and what's available through your iphone and and all the resources that are around um compared to that kind of like traditional path that we used to see yeah i me personally i i think it's amazing that uh our kids get the opportunity as, as young kids to become entrepreneurs and, and and to also become, you know, really good at, you know, what they're doing. Yeah. Right? And so, no, so <laughs> giving them an opportunity as 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 an entrepreneur that young of an age, I think it give give gives them an opportunity give us an opportunity to help mold them into being something that could be really successful versus going to college, spending all those years in college, coming home with all of this college debt, sometimes coming home with college debt, and then not being able to get a job in that profession. So if it's something that I feel like my kid is passionate about at a young age, and it has nothing to do with, with college or, or with college, then I'm all for nurturing that, you know, because everybody, Everybody doesn't have to go to college now. That that I think that's like if it's how I feel, if the the job is in that field and that's what you need, then okay, that's fine and good. But just ushering and pushing forward for you to go to college just to say you went to college. Right. No. I think it's, you know, gotta be something, some passion there. If you if if you're trying to be an entrepreneur, if there's some passion there, I will guide it. 
I was gonna say, I didn't go to college. I like, I, I remember very distinctly walking into, cause I was like a, a artist growing up. That's all I wanted to do. I was like graffiti, hip hop. That was like my life growing up. And so I had an opportunity to go to art school and I walked into the college, even though I was an artist and it just was like, this is for me. And then, so I just, I happened to have good people around me that gave me an opportunity to take that passion and build it into a business. But it was just through hard work, yeah. you know, and, and it goes back to the character. Like my dad is like one of my biggest role models because he didn't go to college. He worked in the same career his whole, whole life and he's still actually doing it. And it was based on hard work. And it's like, I took that. And now when my daughter is nine and five, I try to bring him along the journey with me. And like, they called me last night, like, dad, we saw a dad getting hat at Target. Like, that is <laughs> crazy. like crazy. Yeah. My five-year-old wanted to call me at 10 PM to tell me she saw a dad gang hat, you know? And, and so just by setting the example of it, um, so college isn't necessarily for everybody, but it's to follow that passion and hard work. So if you have good character, yeah. you have good, uh, set a good example for your kids. You know, you don't necessarily have to go to college, but wow. there's so many more opportunities now that I didn't have even just, you know, 20 years. Yeah. Even like doing both. Or do both. Yeah. yeah. I found like what, what I loved while I was in school. And it, it wasn't school. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like events and, and apparel and, and knowing that like we've got this great thing called the internet that you can spin up your ideas pretty quickly. And then from that, just kind of building on it, I think you can do a bit of both. And like, it's pretty cool that we can be like, hey, if you have a passion today as a 13 year old or whatever, and um, you want to make a product around it, like we're down to help you. Like that'd be so fun as a dad to be able to do. I think you just hit it like, the most important thing for me is because you don't know their kids they're, they're gonna right you don't know what they're gonna end up wanting to do but whatever it is i think as dads the most important thing is for us to support them right. you know in whatever way you know and i may not know anything about your field or anything that you're learning but one thing i do know is character yeah. and i'm going to teach you how to have good character in your work i can't teach i can't tell you how to do your job but right. i can tell you how to act yeah. And I think that going through your job, if they know how to act, then they'll in turn put good people around them because they are a good person. Good people attract good people, right? Yeah. And so you get a group of you guys together, a group of us together. Yeah. And you guys are good people. So you attracted good people, right? And yeah. so that starts from your parents. You guys, your parents obviously have great character and still great character in you. And so that's kind of how on top of all the stuff that you guys said, like just support and making them good people, I think that goes just as long as going to college yeah. or not going, you know, whatever it is, you know. So that's just another right. way I think you could help. Those are tough conversations to have sometimes too, you know, as dads, because when you're teaching character, you know, I I swear like there's so much access to so many distractions nowadays. Where when I was growing up. I remember my dad would put on a VHS tape on baseball training and it was just the most like there was I did not want to sit there and watch that VHS of like the guy in the field you know like it was just the corniest stuff but now you get these baseball influencers you know the Savannah Bananas or whatever they are you know where it's attractive and entertaining the kids but there's there's also so many distractions out there where now it's like okay when we're teaching you character you know we got to teach you hard work as well because we can't escape the work that it takes all the failures you know the years and years of years of barely getting by of needing help you know of, of needing your support group there and if you burn those bridges and you say no i don't need your help i want to go on my own you know that makes life so much more difficult so as fathers i think it's awesome you know just being present and there but also holding them accountable to the good character that hey you are you're in our family this is what we do here. We work hard, we have good character, and we make it happen. You know, it, it doesn't happen overnight, yeah. you know, but we, we really work hard and, and move towards that. So I think one hard thing to teach in within the character, and if you don't know what they're trying to, you don't, you don't know the field that they're in or whatever, is like something simple, something as simple as just discipline. Like yeah, knowing that that's tough you have me. to go to work <laughs> every single day. I know you don't want to go, but you have to. I know you don't want to get on the phone or, or uh, record or whatever it is, but you have to. That's just what you have to do. And there are going to be days where you don't want to, and there's going to be days where you wake up and say, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. But as a father, like, and you pull them out of the bed, 
<laughs> you got you know, whatever it is, you got to make their food, you got to get them dressed, whatever it is yeah. to make them go. And I think once they see you go to work when you don't feel like going to work or you doing things when you don't feel like doing it, it's instilling the character and the discipline and all those type of things for them to be successful. And on top of that, I'm a firm believer that I love to communicate to y'all like this, my thing. So I'm a firm believer in explaining why we're going to do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because like, if we don't, we can't live here. We can't move and maneuver and live how we want to, right? So there's consequences for our actions and our decisions. And this building character, I'm going to tell you all the great things that you can be in life. Yeah. If you put in the work, if we understand, if we're great people, right? And then we can also talk about the things that we can do if you want to indulge in whatever it is, you know, <laughs> if you'll indulge in, you know, but it's just understanding that. But I think we, we all, here are firm believers of being great parents and I think that is a thing communicate with your kids the the bad parts of life right we have to prepare them for certain things so they know that I don't even want to go through that I don't have to experience that yeah and uh you know just my take on it all I like that explaining the why yeah right. like, they're we all must have a good yeah there you there's some bad in life and I got to teach you how to go through that right right as much as I got to teach you to go through good yeah and when you have a headache or when you think you're you can't hoop no more because your ankle is we're gonna learn to cope with certain things until we're back and understand that hey this is a rebuild process this means we need to slow down there's something else here we need to kind of realize something i need to work on this is compensating for some lesson i need to learn right let's talk about it yeah love that yeah, that was deep. Okay. That's that's okay. That was great. You have me in my thoughts. I'm thinking about it too. I was like, dang. You know? No, that was great. That requires patience because, you know, a lot of times I, I, I catch myself telling my granddaughter something over and over and over and over again. And, you know, you just have to be patient enough to just continue to sit there and just go through the motions with her. You know, you just have to say it over and over again. But eventually they get it, they learn it, and they apply it to their life. So. Patience is that's yeah. I have a two. I have a three and a one year old right now, and one of Jacqueline's over there. She's probably laughing about it, but it's like, yeah, uh, the whole like get out of bed right now. Our daughter's waking up at six, so she's just rushing into our bed, and then but trying to get her to bed is like just an all out war. And then we got a one year old that's like just starting to walk, and sometimes you're like, well, they're just, you know, little three and one year olds. What are you going to do? And then as a parent, you're like, man, I'm, I need to be more patient for sure. Cause yeah. this, this routine is getting crazy. Oh, they're sponges. <laughs> I think I want energy, yeah. the energy they pick up at that young age, man. If you walk into a room and you're like irritated, they're irritated. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Like, we influence their energy, man. Yeah. Or they may think it's something that they did. Right. Too, yeah, you they know, feel like they did something wrong. Yeah. No, man, it's, yeah, they are sponges. It's crazy. We've got a we've got a group for dad gang. Uh, it's a private Facebook group where um, any dad can join. And like, I just recently started posting in there, like, hey, I know there's a lot of dads in here. Like, for all the new dads that are just just getting into the journey, like, drop some advice. And there was like 120 comments, like some about sleep, some about routine, some about like soak it up, it goes by really quickly, all these things. And it's like. That's why we love the brand. It's like, sure, we make cool hats, but we want to find so many other dads that can just like help each other out. Um, I think that's so much bigger than any hat we can make. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I see that with dads out and about when they are wearing it, you know, and, and like they, they have a certain level of pride, which kind of brings me to my next question with you guys. Like, how did you feel the response was for you uh, after this first hat that we released with you guys, did you guys feel anything? Do you guys see anything? I know like you're on the field, you know, or you guys are on the ball, but when we walk the stadium and see all your hats in the crowd, you know, it, it, it's it's cool to see. Like, what was your guys' response or seeing that last night with the guy in the crowd? You know, he had you guys on base and the hat. Uh, for me, it's it's really, it's really cool. Um, you know, I, I, walking, looking around, you know, and then you see just people like, taking off the hat and pointing and, and, you know, you know, they're a dad. And so, you know, it's all automatically like a little connection, you know, just because we have something in common, you know, we're both dads and I, I can look at you. I know if you're wearing that hat, you going through it, you know, you're going yes. through it just like I am, right? We all are, we all are. And so um, I'm very appreciative that to know that 
you know, I, I have fans out there that support myself, support you guys, uh, but just support being a dad, man. You know, just, just there, there's the positive, there, there you go, that's the positive thing. Yeah. You know, someone wearing that hat, to me, that just means like, you know, I'm a dad, I love being a dad. I know it's hard being a dad, but I love doing it. And if you wear this hat and you go out, you love being a dad. Whether it's hard or not, right. you enjoy it. You really do. And I think uh, seeing it at the games, it, it, it's just super special. Cool. What's yeah. super dope for me is, I think we were, we were at a restaurant, was it today or yesterday? And we saw a guy with dad gang hat. And I was like, I was like, oh, y'all was like, the, look, look, y'all, look, 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 it's just a hat. So, it does, it just makes you real, feel really special, but it makes you, it makes you feel like, okay, he's representing us. You know, he's part of us, he's one of us. And it, it, I don't know, it just, it, it feels real special to know, to be a part of something so special, yeah. and, you know. I've been seeing all the different fits, yeah. you know, so how you, you know, put your swag with the hats and yeah. uh, so, so it's been cool. You know, just everybody wears it their own way, backwards, forwards. Um, you know, so it's just, it's different. Well, this is our first product that we kind of put out in collaboration yeah. with anybody and anything. And so um, it just, you know, it's good to see that we had this. Support. This is my favorite part of this hat. And this got me so excited when you guys brought this to our attention. I bet this is the most powerful piece and one main goal just like can hit home with everybody. And I was trying to phrase the question and EJ did a way better job at it. Did I? You <laughs> did, you did. Oh. How did you say that early? Yeah, uh, I don't remember exactly how you're on the spot now. I am. Uh, <laughs> just like as as a dad, like we all kind of paint a picture in our head of what it's like to be a dad. Like what is your one main goal to define fatherhood for you? You know, for me, it was I don't want to be the dad that um, used to do stuff. So I, you know, I really focus on running and fitness and being present and, you know, making sure I have dedicated time. You know. Work is busy, of course, but like I do not miss the time with my family. Like that is super important, and, and they feel it when I when I miss it, and then I feel it when when I miss it. So for why my one main goal as a father is to make sure to always prioritize that time because they are growing so fast. I mean, my daughter's nine now, and she's going almost into middle school in a couple of years, and it's like mind blowing. And then I have a five year old that's just trailing her right behind it, and so. I'm responsible to take good care of myself because I got to provide for my family. And so my one main goal, again, is just simply to never be the dad that used to do stuff with his kids or used to run with whoever. It's like, my daughter's running with me now. I bought her some running shoes and we do my, like one mile a day. Like that is so, so yeah. cool to me. So yeah, so what is your guys' one main goal as being a father? What's your one main goal? Uh, I mean, mine is simple, just be there. You know, tell you there. There's not a lot that we know to do, as we know. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So at this point, just be there. So if you need me, I got you. Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, my goal is really just to be a good dad, man. I mean, I, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if anybody really <laughs> doing. Doing. You, know, yeah. you just kind of get in there and you just kind of do it. And and at the end of the day, I have, I have an awesome, like the best example of a good dad. And so, it's a little easier for me because I have a blueprint. It's still hard though. I still don't really know right. what I'm doing. I don't know how he became the dad that he is. And I don't know how, how I'm gonna become a dad like him, but I'm gonna figure it out. And with the one, my, my, but my main goal is just to be a good dad. And how, I don't know, but we'll yeah, figure it out. We'll get there. Yeah. Mine is to put God first and family next. And, and and make sure that I spend an adequate amount of time, intentional time, with my family to invest in them. That's the way time is, is yeah. Big, yeah, that's, yeah. Because we can get caught up in everything trying to provide this family dynamic and this lifestyle, and you, you can kind of miss the time with the family doing what you're trying to do to provide for the family. So I think it's, it's, it's really big to be intentional about spending time. Yeah, agree. Especially that phone too. Sometimes I'm like, just like playing with the kids and then you'll be on your phone and it's like, this isn't, this isn't a hundred percent of me, you know? <laughs> and it's like, and I see that a lot. It's like, give that intentional time of like, you know, 
the phone away this like for the night this is just like play with your kids and i was reading something recently about how like from from zero to five uh, that like kind of like newborn to toddler to like young child phase how important it is to from a psychological standpoint for dads to play with their kids there's some like chemical connection release that like there's science backs like playing with them go be silly with them i was calling grant the other day he was on the phone and he uh, he's like oh he's probably talking to me about dad gang and i'm like Sorry, dude, I gotta go escape from the pirates. He's at the, he's at the playground with his I was just on a giant playground, and Lucy and I just go up on this like steering wheel, and we're like, What's over there? Oh my gosh, it's the pirates. And then we hit the slide, and Grant's like, What? I lose my phone, hung up. <laughs> gotta escape from the pirates quick. <laughs> so I think it's really like, uh, let your kids like be kids and have a wild imagination and like jump into it with them because otherwise, it's like, you know, I don't want to correct her for being like, you know, let's get back to reality. Like, go there with them. Go to the, running away from pirates and sharks and all this stuff. So, super important. Yeah, my one main goal, I would say, and this this really got me thinking, I'm not going to lie. Like, when you guys said one main goal and we put that there, um, I really got to thinking because that, that's such an important question. So, for the dad gang community, ask yourselves that question. What is your one main goal as a father? and really sit on that, write it down, and hold yourself accountable to that, you know, because it, it's so important to, to hold ourselves accountable. But mine would be uh, three quotes that stuck with me. One is from him, <laughs> and he always says, we live, then we die. So make sure you live, make sure you live, because we could be gone tomorrow, you know, knock on wood, we ain't, but, you know, but we could, you know, and so we, we have to live every single day uh, to its fullest, and then one kind of coincides with that as my brother-in-law William he always says we all we got we all we need and that kind of speaks to what you were saying earlier you know what you are building through one a marketing group you know isn't for you guys oh. it's for the next generation what you are the legacy you're leaving behind and helping people come up you know and, and not just giving them the opportunity but molding them in that opportunity you know and um, I think that that's super important you know for our kids like hey we all we got because you know, as a family unit or whatever that family looks like, whether it's blood or not, you know, you, you have to come together and get through that adversity together and get through those tough times together because a lot of people fall apart because it just gets tough instead of coming together. So and the last thing would be uh, my dad's quote that he says all the time. Um, he says, what's more important than opportunity? And it's a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity to make somebody else's day better, you know, to put a smile on somebody else's face. You know, so if you're always continuing every single day to step out and change somebody else's life, that's only going to bring good stuff back. So those would be the three for, for my one main goal. I would help. Yeah. yeah. I like those quotes. <laughs> one of them is mine. So one was yours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, speaking of, you know, dadging community, as, as Grant was kind of speaking to him there, like this is a collaboration with your guys' company, One Marketing Group. And, um, and we love to help out and get the word out and, and help whatever you're doing. Um, and you know, like a true collaboration where we're, we're always supporting anything you guys have coming up. I know sometimes you have stuff that's so exclusive. You can't mention it, but like what can dad gang or other fathers do to help one marketing group or, you know, engage with anything you guys have going. Um, well, thank you for this. You know, of course. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. And dad gang community. Thank you. But, um, uh, we could just pay in the water real quick. Um, the, the necklace, you know, yeah, that's something that uh, we really look forward to, uh, you know, sharing with you guys. Uh, you know, it was a gift given to Mook well up back in the day. And, uh, you know, we just got some plans with that. So uh, I think what he's saying really is is just support. You know, I think uh, it's it's really simple, but just support, whether it's a hat or Go on and watch the shows that we have coming out and um, okay. podcasts, um, coming to the game. Yep. You know, I think just support. You know, I, it can be, it can look any way, whatever form you want to. Um, I mean, there's, there's, that, that's really it. Just support is the, just the, the only thing that we really ask is it. it I mean, obviously, I guess you got to spend a little money because it's coming to the game, <laughs> buying a hat. So, May gotta save up, but uh, 
but yeah, I mean that that, that that's really it. Just, and we like, appreciate that. Well, I'm very very much appreciative. But don't forget if you got the hat on and the on base hoodie, you get a side <laughs> ball at the game. So just throwing it out there. That's support. So I'm gonna support you. I'm like thousands of support. Show up. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the whole stadium. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's yeah, gonna be rocking. Yeah. You're gonna be there with like three the days. Cut off. He's the man of his word. Yeah, so if he's saying it, yeah. he will honor it. Dab game community. You guys heard it here first, supporting every which way that you can. Uh, we got to see On Base last night, and that was an awesome conversation. Yeah. Season two started off with a bang. So yeah. go follow that. Watch every single episode that they have coming out because I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. And uh, that necklace too. I already know an entire area of <laughs> baseball, travel ball kids are going to be grabbing that. A hundred percent. I promise you. Definitely. Consider the first round sold out on me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now, uh, but we're, we're excited about this. This is coming out again. Very soon. But we're very soon. soon. Like, it's probably out by the time you like, watch We're this. shooting the snap and, uh, yeah. We're gonna rush home and upload these things pretty quick. Yeah, we appreciate you guys so much for yes, coming sir. through and always just being awesome. So thank you for the opportunity to work with very special and talented and incredible uh, gentlemen like yourselves. And we look forward to what the future holds and we appreciate it. Since uh, I'll never forget the day, I think I sent it to you, no, my wife. I sent it to my wife and I said, hey, this is super cool. And I got some hats and then I, I think I, told both of y'all like bro you know these hats are super cool and then now we're sitting and, yeah. and yeah. with a collab and you guys are showing us so much and you're opening us up to just a world that we didn't we never knew how to navigate never knew we can get in and we're here and so we we're very appreciative of what you guys i mean every time we get on the phone and we talk about you guys it's always happy always like good positive. talks it's always positive thing like that's not it's never a ah they're trying to do this or i try that and now it's like oh no we want to do this and we want to yeah. do that they're trying to do this and we're trying to do that and it's good it's awesome it's all you know so uh very appreciative of, of you guys thank thank you. Lot. well that's dad gang one marketing group checking out from spring training in arizona go get your soon peace peace, peace. <laughs>